Hi everyone, um, it's me Katie again. Um, sorry for the raspy voice, I am a little under the weather. Um, anyways, I also just got back from work and I figured the light is, it's still light out so um, I'm going to take advantage and film a video. Um, today's video is going to be what I loved in the month of August. I'm pretty sure I have some blush brush hair on me. But, um, anyway, so this is going to be my favorites video for the month of August. And I'm so excited to film this one because these are the ones I really love watching the most. And I think that they're the most, in, like, useful, I think, um, that I've seen from all the little beauty girls on YouTube. So, um... Also, apologies for the sports bra. I just, I just kind of honestly threw this on. So, anyways, um, here I go. This is in no particular order either. These are just kind of my little faves that I've kind of gone to and, um, I don't know, used the most in the month of August and really the most for quite some time now. But, um, anyway, so I really sound like a man. It's kind of nasty. Okay, so the first one, I think, in no particular order, this is a lip gloss lipstick. It's kind of like, it's it's in a lipstick form. I got it from Sephora, and um, it's called Lip Attitude. It's Sephora brand, and it really is amazing because I'm not too, I'm not a big fan of, like, the really matted lip look. I really like it to have like some sort of sheen and but I do like color but nothing too dramatic so um this is kind of what it's like it's like really glossy and um it goes on kind of just like a lip gloss and you can really layer the colors to get it as dark as you want but I just absolutely love it and it's like a Barbie pink so this this in like particular color does and can get a little bit dramatic if you want it to, but if you do just want like a subtle um, pink shine that's not too lip glossy and like not too thick of a gloss, this is what you need because it is seriously amazing. I'm obsessed. So I've used it and when I'm feeling sassy, I will um, put a little bit more on. And yeah, so this was my first one. I got that in... I think that I got that in July, but I didn't really start using it till August. I don't really know why. The second thing that I've had for quite some time that I've loved so much, I got at Ulta, and um, it's the Ulta Professional um, Concealer um, thing. It, let's see here, Concealer Palette. Although I know a lot of people have reviewed this already, but I'm just going to jump on the bandwagon because seriously, it is amazing. It is. I, ha I tend to have a lot of redness in my skin, so if I ever have a blemish, it'll just be really, I don't know, it, it just gets really red because I'm, I'm really, like, fair-skinned. So, anyways, this is what it is. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'll try to get it in the light so that you honestly can't even. Okay, there we go. Um, so, the yellow corrects, um, well, the green corrects, um, like any type of redness that you have. The yellow corrects any type of like under eye circles, which I don't really have that dark of under eye circles I found. So I kind of just use it to like mix with the, um, with the, like my skin tone concealer just to get it to be a little bit more, I don't know, my skin tone, my skin color. And it tends to work really, really well. And then the powder, I don't really use that much, but it's good to have if you don't have a powder to set it with. But the powder is meant to set the color so it doesn't come off. And seriously, you will not see your blemishes. Like, it is amazing. Love it. Um, I've used that every single day because I do not have perfect skin. And every single day, I tend to have something that I need to cover up. It's awful. I hate it. <laughs> but whatever. So, third thing um, is my... Smashbox blush that I have. Um, it's just this color. Um, I'm really bad at this. Let's see. That pretty color. Um, it is called Blush Rush. That's the color. Anyways, I really, really like it. Um, again, I kind of like the subtle 
colors. I don't like to look too dramatic, but I do like to have some sort of pigment. Like if I put blush on my face, I want to be able to see it. Like I don't just put it there for fun. So um, this shows up and it is still subtle enough to look really, really natural. Like it just looks like the color comes from within instead of um, like it was just caked on. I really, really like that a lot. So love this. Got this at the Nordstrom Rack, by the way, and got a really good deal. Uh, fourth thing is my Urban Decay um, little dealy. It is, oh gosh, I don't even know. Well, anyways, the colors are Flash. I'll show you. So Flash is the first purple one. Maui Waui, Chopper, and Smog. I really don't like the name Smog. Um, that's kind of nasty, but to put on your face. But um, it's actually my favorite color that's in this little four pack. And I absolutely love it next to the chopper color because it's just such a pretty brown. And it does have shimmer to it. So um, I'm not one that kind of goes for like really glittery looks. But these are just light enough shimmer to where I can handle it. And I don't feel like I'm in junior high school. And um even though in junior high, I loved having glitter on my face. It was so fun. I just, I feel like this is a little bit more my age type of shimmer. So, anyways, I love it so much. And I did, um, one day I did like a color pop that I learned actually from, um, Juicy Star 07 did a really cute little video. And I did a purple version. Um, she did a color pop, like, it was like blue eyeliner and then blue or teal, um, eyeshadow underneath. Well, I did purple eyeliner and then purple eyeshadow underneath in it. It turned out really pretty. I really, really liked it. So I used that and I love that. This is actually, I think, my number one favorite for the month of August. I absolutely am obsessed with this. Um, I'm kind of like an eyeliner snob. Um, I use it a lot. <clears throat> well, this is my first potted eyeliner and it's from by Makeup Forever. Um, this is the waterproof cream eyeshadow. And at first I was like, maybe I'm just an idiot. I was like, eyeshadow. I was like looking for their potted, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't tell the story, but I was looking for their potted eyeliners and I was like, that can't be it. That's an eyeshadow. Anyways, it is. It turns out to be that, that the eyeshadow is the eyeliner. And I actually really like using this kind. It goes on so smoothly. It is so easy to apply. Um, it stays on forever. That is like my favorite part about it. It is waterproof, so it literally does not budge. And that's, there's pros and cons to that because if you're, if you really like to smudge, um, your eyeshadow, you do have a time limit. Like if you put this on, you have like 15 seconds to smudge it and get the way it looks because after about 15 seconds, it's on there to stay. So, Anyways, um, I've kind of got it down to a science where I just like put it on, maybe touch up a few spots and then I'm done. But I love this also for my waterline because it is waterproof, so I think it stays on way longer than a normal one, like a normal regular eyeliner would. And um, <clears throat> anyways, I just, I have a new obsession. I also apply this with an angled MAC brush instead of just the flat, like tippy little tiny ones. Um, I find that that works better for my eye shape and I have really long eyelashes so they get in the way sometimes and the angle brush is just flatter against my eyelid and it just, it just works for me. It just works. Love it. Anyways, I got to speed this up because I don't want to have to edit a million things. My one, two, three, four, five, six thing is, um, I actually got this, um, as a sample at work. This is the Lori Mercier foundation primer. It's oil free. I absolutely love it. It, um, I, I honestly, it's little, so I don't use it all the time. I try not to use it every day, but, um, it really does fill in those, like, fine lines. It helps, um, your, I really have noticed a difference that it does help, um, my foundation to stay on way longer, and I just think that it has a softer finish. Honestly, my foundation has a really softer finish when I use this, so I absolutely love this, and this, these are my favorites. I do have one more. But I'm running out of time, so. Okay, I'm officially finished. So I hope you guys have a great night or great day whenever you watch this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.